Hi, this video is all about how to use right boot with a wireless GoPro. Now I've got a Hero 5 here and I've been spending the last few weeks just integrating support for GoPros into right booth. So right booth can now control a GoPro to record videos and take photos. Now I'm going to try and simulate recording a 360 slow-mo video. Now I can't afford a 360 spinner, they are ridiculously expensive and so is the software that goes with them. But I'm going to show you how you can get probably 95% of the functionality of the expensive packages with Right Booth, which is only $60, and a GoPro, and obviously you've got your 360 spinner equipment. So, I'm running a right booth event here at the moment and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually sat on a rotating chair. Now, I've got my little helper here and I've got my GoPro. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set right booth going and then I'm going to record myself spinning this guy around and we'll see what the results are. Okay, let's just put him back down. Right. The GoPro is on and it's actually connected to the PC wirelessly. So let's give it a go. Get ready. Countdown. Okay, so I'm now spinning on my chair with my helper in hand with the GoPro recording. Now what's happening is that Right Booth is downloading the recorded video off the GoPro wirelessly to the PC and then it's adding video enhancements and I'll show you how to do these later. It's taking about 26 seconds, maybe 26 to 30 seconds to download the video. And this is the result. Now reversing it, slowing it down, and bringing it back to the start. And there's an outro at the end. It thanks you and it takes you back to the start screen. So I'd just like to show you another example video that was sent to me by a right booth user who is using his own 360 spinner equipment. And this is what he came up with. So we've got the overlay music, we've got the overlay video, and we, it's a slow motion, and it's now reversing. And he finished it off with his own outro video, which is here. And I think he was using a GoPro Hero 7. Now, that's all been processed and handled by Right Booth. So it's a single click on Right Booth to start the whole process off, record the video on the GoPro, download it to the PC, add the video enhancements. And you can obviously do other things with that afterwards. You can email it to people, uh, you can upload it to FTP sites and so on. Um, so I'm going to spend the rest of this video explaining how I did all this and how you can do it yourself. Okay, so how did I do all this? Well, obviously you need a GoPro. Um, I'm using a Hero 5, as I said. Um, the way that I've approached this is by using another piece of software, and that is this item here, Camera Tools for GoPro Heroes. Now it's a very reasonably priced package. It's about 10 euros, I believe, and that's for a per PC usage. So I'll put the link on uh, the description. So you need this application and I'll just call that application up here. That's this one here, Camera Tools for Heroes. Now I'll talk about that in a minute. What you have to do though with your GoPro is you have to connect it via Bluetooth. Now my GoPro is on at the moment. Let's just uh, come back to here. We can see it's actually on, alive and kicking. If I go to uh, the Windows settings, you can see that I've paired up my GoPro. So my GoPro is called the GoPro 8162. And what you have to do is turn on the Bluetooth on your GoPro and pair that with 
um, your PC Bluetooth. So you've got to have Bluetooth on your PC, laptop or whatever it might be. Uh, and just to say that all everything that I'm talking about at the moment is detailed, outlined in a document um, that I will let you have as well so you can follow through the steps. And just to say that once you've connected your GoPro via Bluetooth, uh, you don't need to do that again. It should remember it, so it's a one-time operation. Uh, the second thing you need to do is you need to connect your GoPro, sorry, you need to connect the PC to the GoPro's Wi-Fi. So on the settings, uh, there's an option on your GoPro to turn on the Wi-Fi. So you have to do that. So go to your network connections, find the GoPro in the Wi-Fi list and connect. It will ask you for the password. You will have to have the GoPro Wi-Fi enabled and ready to be connected. It should give you the Wi-Fi um, name and password that you need to use to connect at this point here. So you've got your GoPro connected wirelessly and you've got the GoPro connected via Bluetooth. The next thing to do is to look at the Camera Tools app. So let's just call that up. Here we have the Camera Tools app. Now, you can see that it's found my GoPro, which is the 8162, but it's disconnected from the Camera Tools app. So what you need to do is connect it. Now, the way to do that is that on the actual GoPro itself, you choose to connect, which is the top option there. You go for connect new device and you choose GoPro app. Now the GoPro is waiting to connect. Now on the camera tools app, you hit the connect button, wait for this to turn to say connected. It's now connected. And then you hit the pair button and watch happen, watch what happens here when I click pair. My camera is now paired to the camera tools app. Okay. Now what you have to do the first time you use the camera tools app is you need to enable the command server. Now the command server is the thing that Rightboob uses to control uh, the GoPro. So Rightbooth talks to the Camera Tools app through what's called the command server. So look at the command server, set auto start, and make sure you've started it. And basically every time you run the Camera Tools app, it will automatically start the command server. At that point, you can then just minimize this app and forget all about it. So that the rest of this is all about right booth and how you edit your event so that you can control uh, the GoPro. So let's look at what we've done in right booth. The first thing to say is that you've got to be running version 7.6.25 or later uh, and I've got 7.6.25 here. Now one time setup for GoPro is in right booth settings and you will see there's a section called GoPro. Let's have a look at it here. Now, as you can see, Rightboot is automatically finding the GoPro connection. That's because the Camera Tools app is running. I've got it running here. It's permanently running. It's sat on the tray. I don't need to touch it again. But Rightboot has found my camera. It's showing the battery life, and it's showing that there's 200 files on there. Now, this command server address is taken from the tools app. You shouldn't have to change this. It's automatically set by right booth. And these video and photo mode keys are also automatically configured and they should be correct. Another thing you need to check, you need to set the video recording size to be the same size as you've set on your GoPro. Now I would suggest that you set your GoPro to record HD videos 1920 by 1080. So make these two values 1920 by 1080 and with photos the gopros tend to capture high resolution photos something like 4000 by 3000 pixels i seriously recommend that you have a reduced photo size in right mood it just makes it more manageable um things are fast things happen faster etc so Something around about 1280 by 960 is good. Try and keep the width and the height values you enter into here so that it's the same aspect ratio as uh, the photos that are being captured on uh, the GoPro. 
There's more information about aspect ratios and so on on the Right Booth website. You can also choose to keep the original files. So what will happen here is if you tick these two boxes, when Right Booth downloads the files off the GoPro, it will put them into a separate folder before it starts adding any video enhancements to them or changing the size of the photos or cropping them, etc. So you can mirror, rotate, crop, etc. But the original files will be remain untouched and at their original size. Uh, what you need to do is make sure that you've got a temporary folder that will be used by Rightbooth to transfer the files from the GoPro before they start being processed in Rightbooth itself. And here I've set it to be D colon temp. So I've got a second hard disk here with a temp folder that's just empty. And that's the place that uh, Rightbooth will download the videos to. So you can test to see everything's working. Let's try a photo. I'm pointing the GoPro at the actual laptop screen at the moment. So let's take a photo. And there we go. And I'll also record a video. So I'm just going to spin the GoPro around a bit. Let you see where I'm working. That's my desk. Let's stop the video test. Rightbooth will now transfer the file from the GoPro and will show us the result. Now, the fact that I've set that up in uh, Rightbooth in the settings, uh, we don't normally have to touch this again so every time you start your system all you really have to do is start the camera tools app make the connection in the camera tools app and then run right booth and again all this is explained in the document right let's go to the main camera section and as you can see i've now got another option here for using a GoPro for recording videos and using a GoPro for taking photos so this once you've set this up Rightbooth will use the GoPro for all of its activity in all of the events you create. Okay, let's have a look at the event itself. So I'm going into the editor and it's a very simple event this. We've got, oh, just before I start, you can see that um, it's possible to show the GoPro battery life on your start screen or any screen in fact. This is very useful because um, the GoPro battery really gets hammered. So I recommend that you get yourself quite a few batteries. I've got a little battery, uh, two batteries here for the GoPro. They last about, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour each. Or you could get a GoPro battery extender. That's probably better. That can go for a few hours. But at least you can see um, how much battery life there is in your GoPro while you're using Right Booth. The way to do this is actually it's a text object or a label object, and it's got a new text variable called GoPro Battery. So if you use GoPro Battery in any of your text um, entries, you can actually replace this area here, this GoPro battery, with the actual percentage that is being read from the battery itself off the GoPro. So that's quite useful. So what have we got here? We've got the start screen. This is just, um, I'm just using the webcam feed here just so you can see me talking, but you don't need this. This has got nothing to do with uh, the GoPro at all. This is just the webcam here. Um, we've got a get ready screen, which shows for a couple of seconds. We've got a countdown screen, which is uh, getting ready to record the video. We've then got the recording screen. Now I'm only recording six seconds and it's at this screen that Right Booth will instruct the GoPro to start recording. So it's going to record for six seconds and it will then show the video after it's been downloaded and video enhanced. Um, it's also possible to send the video by email. I didn't use that in uh, the demo earlier, but you can send the videos by email this way. Uh, there's an emailing screen to let the user know that it's being sent. And then there's a thank you screen at the end and it returns back to the start screen. Right, let's have a look at the video enhancements. Now video enhancements are 
in the designer event structure video enhancements and there's a big article about this on the right booth website so i'm not going to go into a lot of detail but i've chosen to include an overlay video which was the falling roses rose petals mp4 i've got an overlay image which was just the border of roses i've got an outro video and i've got an audio track that plays over the top of the video and up here we've got video segments so i'm saying that from 0 to 30 percent of the video it plays at, at full frame one normal speed then from 30 to 75 percent of the video it plays at 25 percent sorry at a quarter of normal speed and then from 75 to 100 percent of the video it plays the speed at one then it will reverse 100 to 75 percent at one and then it will go from 75% back to 30 at 0.25, so in other words, at quarter speed again. And finally, it will replay from 30% back down to zero at full speed. So using video segments, you can speed up, slow down and reverse various sections, segments of your video. And that's really all there is to it. So just to recap then, let's just all you really need to do is once you've designed your event, and you've set up your GoPro, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. All you need to do when you switch the system on is run the tools, camera tools for Heroes app, connect it to your GoPro as I showed earlier, and then run Right Booth, play the event and record your videos. It's as simple as that. And again, don't forget to check out the documentation because it will go through it in much more detail than this. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you find it useful.